Has English ever been fun for you? Have you ever smiled when you use in English? Have you ever laughed when you use in English? Have you ever enjoyed yourself using English? I'm Grant, and I've spent years coaching really smart, really interesting business professionals who struggle with confidence using English. They've never found learning English to be fun. Maybe you can relate. As they tell the story, it all begins in their school days, studying English, worrying about grammar and having their teachers telling them they're doing everything wrong, taking quizzes and tests, all the stress that goes with it. And after that, it continues. Maybe start taking ESL classes, and continuing with private English tutors or going to business English school. But none of it, none of it was ever fun, ever. You find this to be true? So today, I want to look at a really serious question. And I mean, really serious question that nobody ever talks about. I don't know why nobody ever talks about this. But was learning English ever fun for you? Let's dive into this and find out why it's really important to bring some enjoyment into learning another language, into becoming confident in another language like English. Many of my clients have shared lots of stories about studying English. Maybe they had to study very late into the night, night after night, working extra time on weekends to study their English, going through all kinds of grammar books, and learning all these crazy rules. And none of it was fun. Even to this day, it's not fun. Let me give you an example. I have this really, really smart and very interesting client. Let's call him Zach. And Zach... When I first started meeting with him, kind of like all my clients, never smiled. He didn't seem happy. But I learned a long time ago that nobody's happy the first few times that I meet with them because they're nervous, they're scared, they're just too worried about trying to use English the right way. And they're not enjoying it. Plus, they've never enjoyed it. It's never been something enjoyable. It's always been work. It's always been a challenge. It's always been stress. It's always been so difficult. It's just never been enjoyable. And I think we have to ask why. Why haven't people enjoyed it? You want to learn English. It's your choice. You've made this choice to go learn this crazy language. But most people don't enjoy that journey. Now, there's lots of reasons for that. And many different things can happen. It's difficult. There's no question. It's very, very difficult. But just because it's difficult doesn't mean it can't be enjoyed. So enjoy it. And just see what happens with it. Now, what if I told you that English can be fun? That might sound crazy to you, but it really can be fun. And just like I said, it's a choice. You can choose happiness. You can choose happiness in any part of your life. You can choose to be unhappy or you can choose to be happy. You want to learn English. You want to be confident in English. That's your choice. You've made that choice. That's why you're sitting here watching this video. So choose to be happy. Choose to have fun with this. Don't make it so difficult. Don't make it something you don't look forward to. Have fun with it. How can you do that? One one really easy way is to choose a book. Choose a book on something you really, really enjoy. You love whatever this book is about. 
whether it's some sports or a hobby or maybe you enjoy traveling to other countries and it's a book about that. Or maybe it's just some topic that you really enjoy. And I want you to take this book and read it. I want you to read it out loud. I want you to put a smile on your face and say the words in English with a smile. I want you to enjoy it. Like find real joy in the words that you're reading. You're going to see it make this huge difference. If you want a really big challenge and this is something you enjoy, find a funny book. Something that will make you smile and laugh a lot in your native language, but find it in English. And read it slowly and enjoy it. Say the words out loud. Get the words to come out of your mouth. Smile while you're reading. Do something really different with your English. Don't make it so stressful all the time. Choose to make English fun. Choose to make it happy. Again, nobody ever talks about this. And that confuses me. Why not just make English fun? Make it happy. Enjoy it. And see what happens. I'm going to tell you what happens. As soon as you decide to start making English fun and make English happy, your confidence begins to increase and increase and increase. It's really powerful what takes place. So make that choice. Decide to choose to make English fun. Well, Zach, my client, decided, okay, I'm going to try. And he would start having fun as we'd go through different things that we were reading out loud together or even different discussions that we were having. And really soon, Zach would start laughing and we'd both be laughing. and We could go on and on and laugh for 30 minutes together about many different things. He stopped worrying about all the difficulties with English. Stopped worrying about all the grammar, all those types of things. I created a video not long ago about the idea of don't try to be perfect. And you can see a link to it here. And what I really mean by don't try to be perfect is don't focus so much on trying to be perfect with your English. Instead, focus on enjoying the language. Focus on communicating your ideas to somebody. You have something that you want to share with somebody else. Focus on that. Don't worry about your grammar. Don't worry about your vocabulary. Just worry about speaking to somebody, sharing ideas with them. And when you're able to do that, magic happens. It's fantastic. So I ask you today, you have a choice. Like I said before, choose to enjoy English. Choose to make this a great journey. Choose to make it fun. Choose to make it interesting. Yes, it's going to be hard. Anything that's a challenge is hard. But make it fun. Make it interesting. And what you'll find is that you'll have to spend less time trying to make English confident for you. Enjoy this journey. I want you to share what happens when you start laughing and smiling and using English and thinking about this as a fun journey instead of, oh, just a lot of work and a lot of pain. Share in the comments. Everybody would love to hear what happens when you start using English and having fun with it, actually laughing and enjoying and not being so full of stress about it all. I can't wait to read what you're going to write and share in these comments. Thank you for trusting me. Really enjoying sharing these thoughts with you. These things work. You want to become confident? I am a confidence coach. Smile. Enjoy English. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share your comments. And I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.